Welcome back to Let's Play Digital Devil Saga. Last time I was kind of an idiot and forgot that we already are at the top of the Karma Temple. And all of the optional bosses available to us have been defeated. We technically have access to every mantra in the game. Talk to everyone one more time. Their defenses are getting noticeably stronger. If we continue, then we probably won't be able to turn back. I'm ready. So am I. I'm sure he, Argilla, and Cielo feel the same way. Let's go, Surf. So let's set our last skills. Let's see here. I don't think we're going to need Auto Soma. <clears throat> so let's set Null Ailment. Um, Cositis in last word, I'm fine with. Argel has Agidine, Debilitate, Makakaja, Nidia, Rahan. I'm going to swap Makakaja for Agidoleon. We haven't splurged like that in a while. Um, and for Heat, Power Charge, Excision. Yeah, he's... Well, I should have Null. Ailment. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I believe we're going to be fighting a multi-target boss. So let's go ahead and set ourselves instead to Ragnarok. Because I'm not you defend. I'm not depending on Tarakaja. Angel, I know you're here. Who's behind her? Thanks to them, the shell has finally. You caused me quite a bit of trouble. If I go back, will you leave the junkyard alone? I do not like wasting time. Do you really think I'd agree to that? Knowing what I plan to do through you? No. I can't do such horrible things. Please go! Impressive, but you are the only remaining cyber shaman. It took five years to perfect the virus, but you can already use it with ease. However... I do not like wasting time. This wasn't easy to find. You care that much? Since you show no signs of regret, I'll make this simple for you. Seraphita.
Interesting. Looks like we better hurry up. Okay, we're really in trouble now. If we don't hurry, then we'll be erased too. No, the junkyard is disappearing. Our comrades are still down there. Is this also Sarah's doing? Can't be. Who else has such power? What could have happened to Sarah? Sarah's in trouble. Can't you tell? Stop! I'll do anything you say. Please, don't delete them. Sarah! <sighs> Is that... Angel? Thank you for coming. I intended on bringing you back, but plans have changed. This matter no longer concerns you, so why don't you be good little children and leave? We've had enough of your damn orders! We're taking Sarah to Nirvana, so get your snobby bitch ass out of the way! <sighs> Stop. beautiful. To survive, you devour others. A demon epitomizes karma in its simplest form. That should not be wasted. But your hopes and beliefs are utterly worthless. We shall see the maturation of the seed. I have sown in you! Bring it on! Onmyo Harihara. Neutral to physical. Neutral to Agidai. Ice.
Teradyne. Okay, so you're not, like, one-shotting her. Good. Vaikunta. Genocide, she critted, but it was eaten by the heat shielding it, I guess. Impressive, but it ends here. You shall not escape this purgatory. RPG and Culex. How he had the crystals. Here it's even less of a suggestion. I am going to take a moment to Medea Rahan. And power charge remains, so I can do Ragnarok. And then see it. Okay. Some of them do reflect ice, but... Uh, <laughs> element core. Alright, so she can create new cores. Physical Repel Shield, Vanity, Full Heal, oh no, that's random ailments, not mine. Goku Dine, Zondine, yeah, the elemental ones don't matter. Not you die. Yeah. So let's hit the Water Core with the last word. And a Mega Doleon. And let's go for physical attack on... I guess the Wind Core. Skull Cleave. Try and hit the Water Core again. Because I'd really like to do Cositis. Doleon.
I guess I could still just do Kosaitis and then Medea Rahan. Right, it's almighty, so it's still gonna pierce the reflection. It's just Harihara does have a lot of events. Kunda. Cosidus again. I think that overall it's worth doing. So is Sarah available for Song of Grace? Yes. It is the water core I'm after, yeah. Alright, so now I can do Cositis. As long as it doesn't make another freaking water core. Okay, that's a wind core. I can get two Cositis and take out a lot of them. In fact, Medea Rahan. Pass Cositis for the last two. Nice. So now all she can do is make one element core. And as long as it's not the water core. Again, I can keep doing it. Alright, it's the gold core, which is physical. power charge, but whatever. I do still want to inflict the defense lowering effect. There's the water core, unfortunately. So let's pass Agidine, the water core. Pass Cositis. And debilitate. Keep knocking those stats down. There's the gold core, so I can open with Cositis and probably kill that core immediately. Dakunda, which sucks, but Agi 
Dine. Pass. Cositas. This is working way better than it has any right to. That one is electric electricity, yes. As a physical. Okay, physical just isn't good here. Physical had its run in the first phase. Is, I guess. Blood curse. I forget what that does. Oh, that's just a chance to inflict curse. I should have gone for Bufu dying. Oh well. She's gonna die this turn. It would be hilarious if it inflicted hunger onto Argilla and got rid of the poison. we do to people we be, right? Do understand she just tried to kill us all, right? Like, permanently. No, Not like, you know, dying and then being reborn.
And that's how it ends. That's why I said at the start of the game, I think, that this is basically a disc one. Like, it was made to be two games. And if you don't do everything in the game, it's like 20, 25 hours. <laughs> yeah, I actually didn't realize that Tadashi Satomi um, did the writing when Yugodai left. Um, Yugodai had to leave Tokyo for health reasons um, mid-development. So I guess, uh, I guess uh, Tadashi uh, took over. Um, Tadashi, for those... Tadashi Satomi, for those who don't know, is the writer for the original PS1 Persona games, as well as, most recently, the Caligula Effect, which apparently was unfortunately not a very good game, even though it, it just sounded like it was um, Angel Beats, but as a JRPG, which I love the concept of, and I'm still going to try the enhanced version of the game. But, uh... Yeah, this game. This game. This is what I suggest to people when they want to get into SMT after having played Persona. Just because, you know, the skill system is very similar to um, traditional JRPGs like Final Fantasy V and the games that follow the job system like that. Um... I like it because it the plot is character development, if you think about it. And it's kind of funny, we technically don't know why it's called Digital Devil Saga yet. We've got some pretty major hints, of course, but... Yeah, I think this is one of the most interesting casts in an SMT game, or SMT-adjacent game. Um, technically, it's not titled Shin Megami Tensei in Japan. Uh, let me find out what... let me check what it is. Um, in Japan, it's just called Digital Devil Saga Avatar Tuner instead of Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga Avatar Tuner. Um... Yeah, just... I mean, it's clearly an SMT spinoff, even if it's not in name. Uh, I just love the setting, the soundtrack, the writing, the fact that it basically uses... Like, it... I know it's not intentional, but the fact that, you know... The characters slowly become more and more human than, you know, Killing Machine. Um, but they're still kind of awkward, so you still have, you know, the PS2 animation still look weird. The voice acting delivery is off just a little bit because that's just how it was in the PS2 era, at least in the West. Just... I hesitate to call this game a masterpiece because I actually haven't played the sequel, so I don't know how it, well it resolves, and I still need to read volume two of the novelization. And pray that volumes three through five get translated. But, um... Just little things like realizing, wait, the overworld theme is the song that Sarah sings. Oh, these people know each other. Like, even Gale is human. God. Fantastic game. Very worth your time. I would not call the optional bosses worth your time, unless you just really like grinding anyway. But, well, at least on a normal playthrough. You might be at a good level on a, um... Yeah, there's Kozy Okada, also of the um, Persona trilogy. It might have been Okada who actually did um, Caligula Effect. Let me check.
Director of Caligula Effect was Takuya Yamanaka. Uh, two years ago, you released a collaboration with Persona 1 and 2 writer Tadashi Satomi. Okay, so it's, it was Satomi. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this project. It, I know it took me forever to actually get through it. Um, for various reasons, um, grinding for fly BLs above was a big one. Um, but yeah, it feels really good to finally have this done. Um, like I said, if I do DDS2, I'll have maxed out the mantra grid. I'll have, um, made the right choices to get the optional party member in the sequel. Oh, post credit scene? post credit scene. Sarah is in an egg, and Surf is in the desert. Desert? Anyway, I am looking forward to doing the second game. Probably not going to do all the optional bosses again. Ah, there's the confirmation as to the title. <laughs> Save up here. So, next time on this slot, we will be returning to Summon Knight Swordcraft Story to wrap up the post-game there, because it's pure dungeon crawl and I need something simple. See you guys then.